Well, hello my beautiful people welcome back to my youtube channel so if you're here for the first time don't forget to like and subscribe to be a part of my youtube family my name is boa and on my youtube channel i share content about ghana life in canada just anything i try not to put myself in a box because you never know what i might share but just life in general so guys enough of me talking um, today's video is all about sharing with you some of the important things that you need uh, with you when you are coming to ghana for december i remember when i was looking for um those informations on youtube it was kind of hard uh, to find so i wanted to kind of like create this little video to kind of uh, inform you about the things that you need so the first thing that you need is your ticket you all might have known this already but you need your ticket you need to book your ticket ahead of time i strongly suggest that you book it yeah ahead of time because it is cheaper um after that you have your ticket and everything you do need to get your passport so you make sure before you book your ticket that your passport is valid for at least six months so uh, once you have your ticket your passport um you're good then you got to get your visa so um the visa varies depending on uh, how long you're going to ghana for you get your visa if you are a ghanaian um, citizen or you have a dual citizenship which means that you let's just say i'm canadian and i'm ghanaian so i don't really need a visa so you can skip the third step the fourth step is basically getting your yellow fever uh shot and the yellow card um, that they're going to be giving to you and any other um, vaccines that you might need or your doctor might recommend to each is your own and you're responsible for that and i do emphasize um the importance of like getting your vaccine that uh, the required vaccines that you need the yellow fever you can't escape it you are gonna need it like they're gonna tell you as soon as you get down there they're gonna uh, ask for it and you have to have it if you don't have it you gotta go get it right which is extra money extra time you're tired you don't really want that hustle so just have that ahead of time so um with your yellow fever it is kind of pricey so if you do have insurance try to um, use it if you are a student some insurance companies uh, depending on your school might cover it if they do yay um another thing that i want to um add to it since we're talking about medications and stuff like that is um the malaria pill just get like a couple that's gonna last you for about like a week or two once you get to ghana you can find an affordable one as soon as you go to uh, the pharmacist you know but just get like a week worth of um malaria pills just to be on the safe side when you're there for one week so next thing that you're gonna need is unfortunately a pandemic is going on coronavirus so with that in mind you do need to have 150 dollars because they're gonna have to test you so you have to do from my knowledge you have to do a test i think two days correct me if i'm wrong in the comment two days before um you are traveling once you get there you gotta show them then you also have to do another test another test in the airport which is 150 us dollars so it's quite expensive so just have the money ready or have a debit card i don't know if they accept debit cards but just have the money physically ready so that you're not shocked right next thing that i want to advise you is um you need cash or debit um ghana do have like hidden spots that you can go and exchange money and um the exchange rate is not bad to be quite honest because you have to consider the people gotta get paid and they make a little money off your your dollar but it's how it works you know what i mean so i would have physical money um but don't have too much physical money just to be on the safe side because worst case scenario you don't want to get um robbed and all your money is just gone so have some money that's reasonable and have your debit card or your credit card and make sure that um, before you're traveling um, ask you know your bank um, people say hey I'm traveling to the spot is there a way that I can um, 
get money from the atm which atm do i have to use and your bank will be more than happy to kind of like explain all of that good stuff to you so it is really beneficial to have both the debit credit or any card um and cash with you just to be on the safe side guys that's the end of this video thank you so much for watching bye